Good morning, everybody. How are we doing today? Um, well, welcome to Little's Lab. My name is Kim. I am a community learning specialist with Do Space, and we are doing a really fun program today called Little's Lab. So if you are not familiar with Little's Lab, we uh, usually have it every Tuesday and when, or sorry, Tuesday and Saturday morning from um, at, starting at 9.30, and we feature a uh, different app, like educational app and a different um, story every week and every month, well, we have been anyway, usually we do kind of, yeah, anyway, we've been doing a, different um, activities uh, for every session and uh, we have different themes or activities kind of basing um, our activities around. And our theme this month is let's make. So I see a lot of great friends coming in and um, you guys should be able to have an option to chat. So you guys are more than welcome to put in the chat um, some answers with the help of your maybe your grown-ups. Um, and uh, if you want to as well, if you don't want to put it in the chat, I am going to be answer or asking you guys some questions. Please talk about it with the people you're with, your grown-ups, your siblings. Um, you know, chat with that. Um, and if you want to put it in the chat, you can. So perfect. So our theme this month is let's make, like I said. And so I want to know, what do you guys like to make? And what does that mean to you? There's so many things to make, right? You can make things, um, you know, that have instructions, kind of like Legos kind of have instructions, right? Um, to build things. Uh, maybe you like to do things like freeform, like with blocks. So you can, uh, you know, you can build anything you really want with blocks, right? Um, you can make things out of food, right? You can, you know, recipes, making dinner or baking something, that's making something. Um, you can make things outside with things you find around your house or outside with sticks. Um, you can build forts, like pillow forts um, with blankets. You can make things out of that. You can make, making involves like crafts, arts and crafts. Maybe you like to paint or draw or color you know, that's all making as well. So it's a pretty broad thing that you can uh, do with making. So what do you guys like to make? I know that I like to make things, um, I like to make these fabrics and I do that with, with a technique called knitting or crocheting where I use hooks or needles to like kind of make little knots and it forms together um, a fabric. So maybe for hats, so you, I bet everybody here has a knit hat. And so I like to do that. Ooh, we have a couple friends that said they like to make banana bread. I love to make banana bread too. Um, perfect. So yeah, so anytime you want, if you want to put in what you like to make, go right ahead. And so um, every Littles Lab, we, I like to do our calendar. I like to feature our calendar because our calendar is so good to, um, to get a refresher on like, help us with our numbers. It can help us with our letters, the refresh parties of the week. Ooh, we have some friends that said they like to paint. Noah likes to paint. Um, we have a Kevin that says they like painting nice. Um, ooh, we had um, Mina said that she likes to make tree houses with their uh, Lego set. Nice. Those are all great things to make and fun things to make. Absolutely awesome. Well, keep them coming. If you want to share what you like to make, pop on into chat anytime. So, but in the meantime, I'm gonna get us onto our calendar. And so um, I like to use a website called Starfall. So starfall.com, it's a great website and it has all sorts of different um, activities for all ages that can help with numbers, letters, has music and it's all free, which is, I think is great. And then I'm gonna go to, but I like to use our calendar. And that is because a lot of the time when we are at our building and do space, we have a really big interactive monitor or like computer, right? and I will ask kids to come up and they can touch the screen and it moves us along. So that I'm going to ask you guys to do something similar. I know that um, you guys won't be able to actually, uh, you know, 
you'll be able to touch the screen and I'll be actually moving us along, but I want you to pretend and help me out. So I might ask you to um, push some things or touch some things on your screen and pretend that you're helping me move us along. So for example, you guys should see a big white triangle on your screen. Can you guys touch that triangle for me? Can you guys get out and touch that triangle for me? Let's touch that triangle and see what happens. So it has, shows our name of our month that we're in and the year that we're in. So we are kind of in the middle of the month that we're in. And that first word that you see is our month. And what letter does it start with? What letter does our month start with? It's also the very first letter in our alphabet. When we say our alphabet, it's that very first letter. What do you guys think? What is it? You can put it in the chat if you like, or just share with your friends or your family that you're with. Uh, what letter is that? Is that our letter A? Yeah, that is our letter A. -A, -A, -A. So our A makes the A, -A, -A sound like an apple, but it can also make a, it's called a long A sound where it sounds like the letter itself, A. So like in April. And so we are in the month of April. Um, so that is the month that we are in. And then we are in the year 2020. So 2020. We're okay. So can you guys help me out again? Can you guys touch that green arrow on the bottom right hand in our, your corner of your screen? Can you touch that for me? See what happens. So we, this is our month of April. And I want to go over our days of the week. Every, every week and every month throughout the year, we repeat our seven days of the week. So let's say them all together. And let's start with Sunday. Say them with your, with your, um, the people that you're with, okay? So we have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And who knows what today's day of the week is? It's the very last one we said, and our hand is pointing at it, and it's highlighted in gold. Does anybody know what our day of the week is today? Who knows what our day of the week is today? Is it Saturday? That is right. If you said Saturday, you would be correct. And if you didn't, that's okay, because we're still learning, right? Today is Saturday. So can you guys touch up Saturday for me? It's, it's pointing, your hand should be pointing at it, and it's kind of a golden color. Touch that Saturday for us. So today is Saturday. That's our day of the week. Our month is called April, and then the, that number is our date today. And you can see our calendar, it has a big star on it. What number is that? It's a pretty big number. So if you don't know, that's okay. But maybe we could talk about, there are two numbers that make up that one number. Oh, Karen said that it is 18. That is right, our number 18. What is it? There are two numbers. So when a one, our first number is one, and our second number is eight, I'm gonna see. Make sure you can see it. Oh, I might have froze. No, I think we're good. There we go. Eight. Um, then when a one is in front of it, eight. That is 18. That is right. Okay, so can you guys touch that green arrow for me one more time? Touch that green arrow for me. Okay, and now we, are, we need to put our day of the week and our date in its right spot on our calendar. Can you guys help me out with that? So we have our Saturday. So let's touch and drag it where it needs to go in our day of the week right there on the side and where does our 18 go thankfully we don't have to go too far right perfect and then let's touch that green arrow one more time excellent okay so this is our month of april and there are as you can see there's a lot of little symbols and icons and those are all kind of like holidays or special days that we have going on in april so on our very first one that we see on Wednesday, April 1st, on our very first day of April, was a day called April Fool's Day. And that is where um, people will sometimes play tricks or pranks on you. Or you might play a trick or you, maybe you played a trick or a prank on somebody else. So you have to be very careful that nobody's being tricksy for you on that day. And then the next week we have a couple of uh, days going on on Thursday, April 9th, 
we have Passover. Did anybody celebrate Passover? Did I celebrate Passover on the, day, on the 9th? And then on Friday, April 10th, we had Good Friday. Did anybody celebrate Good Friday? Anybody celebrate Good Friday? And then on Sunday, April 12th, on the 12th day of April, we had Easter. Did anybody celebrate Easter? Yeah, sometimes. And there's some fun things that happen on Easter, right? So you might have decorated, because what's on, what's, what are those things on our, um, on our 12, right? Well, we have some people say yes. Yeah, those eggs, colorful eggs. I bet some of you um, maybe decorated some eggs, dyed some eggs, and maybe you found some eggs. Maybe the Easter bunny came around and hid some eggs that you had to find. So yeah, so it's um, a, a fun holiday as well. And then on April 22nd, so next Wednesday, Wednesday, April 22nd is Earth Day. So you could see there's a picture of our Earth. And it's a great day because we celebrate the planet we live on, right? So we want to take good of our planet and nicely. And we do that by, you know, planting plants so that our we have lots of air to breathe because our plants and trees release oxygen and that's what we breathe in so we want to make sure that we have lots of plants planted we want to make sure that we recycle you know picking up trash we, we want our earth to look pretty right so we don't want to we don't want to just throw trash outside we want to put it in our trash can or if it's something like plastic we can recycle it or reuse it we want to make sure that we save our water. So a lot of times we want to make sure we try and, um, to, you know, turn off our water while we're brushing our teeth. And we're not leaving the water on while we're brushing our teeth, things like that. And we can do that not just on Earth Day, but on any day of the year, right? But Earth Day is just a special day that we just celebrate those things. So that is on Wednesday, April 22nd. And then on Friday, April 24th, there is Ramadan. Does anybody celebrate Ramadan? Anybody celebrate Ramadan? Perfect. So I have another question for you. I know that everybody has a birthday. You have a birthday. I have a birthday. We all have birthdays. But I'm looking for friends that have birthdays in our month of April. Does anybody have a birthday in our month of April? If you do, write the date in the chat and I'll put a special. You can the right there there's a smiley face and a star and a piece of cake i'll put a piece of cake oop our friend aiden has one on the 28th that's right aiden you've been um you've been good about telling us about that so yep aiden is he has a birthday on tuesday april 28th so just coming up in a few weeks yeah anyone else and that's okay if you don't no not everybody has a birthday month right so to like just Aiden perfect okay friends so we are going to move on we are going to read a story and if you have been uh if you have been joining in us with us on for Little's Lab I've been kind of reading a series of stories about a cat called Mr. King doing some fun things so we there's a third book that I'm going to read about Mr. Cat. So I'm going to whoop, I'm going to try and not put my hand in front of the camera. And we are going to do I'm going to share. Um, my app that has our there we go. Our app that has um, that I've been using for our stories. And so we are going to be reading a story called Mr. King's Machine. And so it's about a kitty cat called Mr. King. And he likes to make things. He's been making all sorts of things. He's, we've read a story where he made a castle. And we've read a story about how he had all these different things. And people, uh, his friends created, you know, invented other things with those things. <laughs> and this one is called Mr. King's Machine. So we're going to see what Mr. King does with his machine. Let's find out. So Mr. King likes flowers and he likes 
they, that they smell good and look pretty. So when he discovered, when he discovers that has without, ah, I'm sorry, I'm going to start that sentence over again. So when he discovers one that has not been chewed by a caterpillar, he is not happy. So it looks like there's been a caterpillar and he's been, they, that caterpillar has been chewing on his flowers. So how many of you guys like flowers? I know I do. He quickly builds himself a caterpillar catcher. And Mr. King likes machines too. It doesn't look like he's made his caterpillar catcher out of, kind of looks like a little bit of a tank, right? Looks like we got some wheels and some circles and maybe, maybe those are tires and some pipes. Yeah, he's made that caterpillar catcher. Let's see how he, how he, what's he, what does he do with it? The minute his caterpillar catcher is ready, he speeds off. Vroom, vroom, vroom. What is that smoke, wonders Harriet, the owl up in the sky? What's, what is coming out of his machine? <gasps> Stop, cries text. Text. Stop, cries Bert. Stop, cries Jim, old Jim Elk. But Mr. King cannot hear a thing. His machine goes vroom, 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 up and down the hills. He chases the caterpillar up and down the hills. His friends chase him too. Oh my goodness, look at all of his friends chasing that silly Mr. King. Vroom, 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 up the hill he goes. Vroom, 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 down the hill he goes. And at last, Mr. King catches up with that caterpillar, caterpillar and stops. Ah, ha! Did he catch that caterpillar? It looks like he did. And Mr. King feels very pleased with himself. Until he looks around. Uh-oh. Does it look like his friends are happy? So what's all of that stuff in the air? Yeah, what's all that stuff? That smoke? Is that good for our Earth? No. When his friends catch up with him, they are not happy. Cuff, cuff. Why didn't you stop? Pants Bert the bear. Cuff, cuff. Didn't you notice the smoke your machine was spitting out? Asked old elk, Jim Elk. Or the flowers you trampled? Complains Harry at the owl. Why chase that caterpillar anyway? Asked PJ Rabbit. It will become a butterfly one day. And didn't you know that butterflies help flowers grow when they fly from plant to plant? Asked Tex the fox. Cuff, cuff. Skit and scrat, scat are too out of breath to say anything. Our little squirrels. So our friend, his friends are not happy, are they? There we go. Oh, Mr. King. Oh, Mr. King isn't so pleased with himself now. He lets the caterpillar go. Because even though they sometimes eat plants, they're good, right? They turn into butterflies. And he th thinks for a while. And finally he says, oh, I have an idea. And Mr. King takes his machine apart and tinkers with it this and that. Bing, bing, bing. Have you ever taken something apart just to see how it's made up? That's what he's doing. What do you think he's going to be taking, doing with all the parts that he's taking apart of his machine? What do you think? Do you think he'll make something else with it? Let's see. <gasps> Ta-da! It looks like a flower, says Skit. It looks like a fan, says Scat. It's a flower fan, Mr. King announces pr uh, proudly. So he took some of his pieces from his machine and he made something brand new with it. Have you ever done that? Take something else apart to make something new? Watch this, Mr. King. Mr. King takes a deep breath and blows his fl flower fan. Whoosh. The machine begins to spin. What do you think is going to happen when it spins? 
And instead of gray smoke, it blows green flower seeds into the air. Yay! Oh, that's nice, right? Because those seeds will replace the flowers when they grow up into the, the ones that he trampled. And Mr. King and his friends zigzag their way back through the hills, scattering seeds as they go. They're scattering all the seeds, and it's blowing away the smoke. And instead of the smoke coming out, our friend uh, Bertha Fox is, or Tex the Fox is pushing it. And then we have our friend Harriet the Owl. She's watering all of those seeds. They grow nice and big. So now the sky is clear and the new flowers look pretty and everyone is happy. They're all happy, right? And look what they did. Some of their friends took some of the pieces off the machine and they turned them into instruments. How fun is that? And Mr. King likes flowers and machines. And he likes ca uh, caterpillars too. The and so, yeah, so it can be fun to make, you know, something out of other things, you know? And that's, you know, that's what's called tinkering when you maybe take something apart to learn how it works. It's called tinkering. So maybe with your grown up's permission and with the help of your grown up, maybe there's something you can find around your house to take apart to see how it works. And then maybe you can figure out a way to make something else with it, you know, and, and create something new. Maybe, and it can be, you know, it can be something really small or maybe something really big. Who knows? Maybe you can find some really cool things around your house. Perfect. Okay, friends, we are going to move on and I am, we are going to work, play with our feature app. And so I'm going to go back over here. We are going to be playing with a, a, an app called Tiggly Submarine. Ooh, and I'm actually going to go home so we can, you guys can see what it's called. So this is our app that's called Tiggly Submarine. And we are going to be exploring our underwater ocean. But we're also going to be making some words out of special letters called vowels. So there are five letters that are special letters called vowels. And those letters are a, our letter A, our letter E, like an elephant, our letter I, like an ice cream, our letter O, like an octopus, and our letter U, like an umbrella. So those five letters are called consonants, and they're important because a lot of times they're in the middle of our words. And so we are going to see how we can make different words with our different vowels. Let's find out. We have our little friend here, our little tiggly friend. And so we are going to explore. We're going to see where we can find. And so I'm zooming him around with my finger. We're going to see if we can find a place to make some words. Look at this, I think. We might be able to make some words over here. Let's see. Okay, I think I need to pick a elevator. We need to touch the elevator. Let's touch that elevator. As in axe. No way. Time to split. So that is our axe. It starts with our letter A. Should we touch the elevator again? Can you guys help me? Let's Who's touch that in the elevator. elevator. One more time. Ah, as in octopus. Perfect. Ah, as an octopus. It uses our letter O. And you, maybe you share with your friends and the Which people you're with. Which floor should we go to? Um, if you know the letter that is being um, used. Okay, let's touch it one more time. Should we touch the elevator one more time? Let's in touch the one more time. Elevator. Eh, as in. Escolar. Home sweet home. Oh, our word starts with F, F, or E. Those are some big words. E. 
Let's see if we can find somewhere else to go and make some words. Let's see. We're gonna come. Ah. Right. Oh, I think we can make some words right over here. Let's find out. Okay. I think we need a knock on the door. Let's knock on the door. Hat. Here we go. Hat has the letter A in it. Nice. Okay, let's knock on that door one more time. Can you touch that door with me? Let's knock on the door. Uh, oh, blob has our letter O. Blob has our letter uh, uh, O. Can we knock one more time? Let's knock one more time. Uh, ah. ah, we got O again for clock. Uh, uh. Our clock, our alarm clock. And let's knock one more time, see if we can get a different letter. Let's find one, see if we can find a different letter. Nope. Jam! J-A-M. J for jam. Let's see if we can do one eh. more time. Bed! Bed Ed, or with our letter E. That's right. Hmm. Let's see if we can find one more place to make some letters, some words with our vowels. Maybe. Oh. Open the door. There we go. We're going to zoom on over. But maybe. You know what? First, I think we might need to get clean first. Should we get? Uh -huh. I think he needs to go through the car wash or the submarine wash. Oh, he's so sparkly and clean now. So sparkly and clean. Okay. Let's find one more spot. To make some letters or to make some words. Ooh, what is down here? Let's see what we do down here. Uh, what letter is jam. that? In the very middle. What letter is that? Is that our letter E? That is right, it is our letter E. So I'm gonna suck up that gem. Uh, rat! What, rat, what is that? What letter's in the middle of that word? Is that our letter A? a, a, a? Suck up that rat. What is that? Is that a chick? That is right. What is our letter in the middle of this word? Our letter I, 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 I. We need vowels. Okay. Let's do one more. Uh, what is that? Fox. Is that our fox? Our fo uh, ox. What letter is in the middle of that, friends? We need letter vowels. Letter O. Okay, last uh, one. Last one, friends. What letter is that? And it's a da uh, uh, Is our letter U. That is right. Let's suck up that da. Perfect. Okay, friends. We are just about out of time. So I'm going to go back to where you can see me. And perfect. So, friends. Thank you so much for joining us for Little Vlog today. Oh, yes, I think you can still see me. And I hope you guys can join us again on Tuesday, April 21st. So we'll be doing a new story and a new featuring a new app. So, um, and for those who have uh, been with us before, I might be doing a repeat app just so you are aware. So. Um, I'm going through my apps a little bit quicker. So if you've seen this app before, hopefully it's just a fun um, review for you. But if you haven't, um, then that's great as well. Perfect. Thank you so much for joining Little Slab. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please check out our website at dospace.org for all sorts of different other 
family friendly uh, activities, webinars for both kids and adults. So we have a lot for older kiddos as well if you're interested in that, if you have some older kiddos. So perfect. So thank you guys again for joining and I hope you guys have a great rest of your Saturday. Thanks for joining.